internet. Hi Bozen here and here we are with part F of the build video for the San Hoki Perusa i3. As you can see it's kind of back to front at the moment. It's getting ready for the next stages because I'm actually filming this intro this time before actually doing the bits after it, not after it. If that made any sense. Probably, probably not. But anyway, uh, basically it's now going to be time to get on with doing the rest of this build. So let's just get on with it. Hello Internet, here we are now with part 11. Uh, as you can see, I've flipped this round just so we can see this side a little easier. Uh, I don't have my upper camera coming down because that's broke. I'll talk about that at the end. Anyway, let's get on with this. For this part, we need two cable ties or zip ties, depending on which country you're in, and the belt. That is it, really. It's pretty relatively simple step. So what we'll be doing here is now if I get this camera here, try and zoom in on that there. What we'll be doing is on this piece here, we'll be basically taking this belt and then these cable ties. And it's quite a simple process. On this piece here, you will see this little plastic area here above the box sliders. Now, on this area, there is a slot which you can get that to go through. So all we need to do here is get that to go through there. And then the only one that's sticking out from what I can tell about an inch or so, just about an inch. About an inch or so. You basically, so when it goes back to the other end here, that that is not going to hit or interfere with that pulley wheel. And then we just take, flipping that over there. There we go. I don't know if you can hear that. I have a, oh, that you heard, a helicopter going over above the shop. Oh, chugga, chugga, chugga. Anyway, um, let's just cut off this excess bit of the cable tie. But before I do that, I just pull on it a little bit more. That should now be quite tight on there. Now what we need to do, ravel this a bit, and we're taking this belt, and now when you do that you wanted the rib side pointing up here, because this is going to go underneath this belt, through that hole there, and then just for ease I'm just going to feed it out the other side at the moment. And then feed this back through over the pulley on this side. Then when you do that, just pull it all the way through. Now when I pull that, it should whee, make that disappear to that end. And then you'll be bringing this belt, this time now the ribbed section should be and this is coming in through this side hole here i hope you can see that over this side should be quite explanatory when you have one in front of you round over the top of this i'm just going to pull it out this side for now now you can see why we wanted the ribs down that side because if on this belt here you can't see it on this camera angle and I just can't get that around there at the moment this has got teeth and the teeth catch on these bits here and now you just feed this back through underneath this now and back out the other side come on get through there you know you can do it there we go and then just pull that slack and there we go right so that's all the way around that piece now 
Now we just go back to the center part. Let's move this. To... So we've taken the the piece on the return. At the moment, this belt is really long, but we're going to cut this down once we've got this tightened on here. So up through the hole on the other side of this one here. Okay, and now what you want to do is try and make sure this is as tight as you can get it. You know, when it's so tight, this has got literally no ability to move, but you want to make sure that it's not going to jump off either end. And it's tight enough that it's going to drive it nice and properly. And then once you feel like you've got it snug enough. Okay, now I've got that. On there it's just a case of doing what we did on the other side and ugh, get the cable tie on get in there you there we go now I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't feel too too tight cool so what I'll do here is now now what you have to do is the the scary bit for me which is cut the belt because you want to just make sure cause until I cut it and put it down at the bottom I don't know if this is going to be long enough after this so about another inch or so to this side make sure just cut the belt you want to cut not the top or the bottom one Oh, done. Now let's really hope that's ready for the next stage and long enough. <laughs> and then it just trim this bit off. There we go. That was step 11. Pretty simple. A couple of cable ties and a bit of belt. And it all seems to be sat nice and make sure it's all sat nice on both your pulleys. That's part 11. Let's move on to part 12. OK, here we are back for part 12, where we'll be now putting the belt on the bottom bed. And for this, all we need is the belt. So let's just grab that. Right. Now we've got the belt. What we need to do here is now pop this on its side so we can get to the underneath. So here we go. Now we've got this on its side and we're at the bottom here. Here we can see the bottom of the main bed. And on that, if you look carefully, you may even be able to see it in this image of the side here, the kind of groove sections here. You'll be seeing it like through the perspex there, but we have those two groove bits. Now what happens is these, there's indentations on the lower half, but flat on the top. So what you do there is you take your you look at your belt like that these indentations then go into the bottom like so and that just pushes in and holds in there so that's <clears throat> literally what you want to do and then whip it around the belt this end the pulley sorry and then take this along here if i zoom out hopefully that's in focus make sure to take it this side of the the plastic base here because you don't want to take it underneath by mistake and trap it uh underneath the thing that would be unfortunate not hard fix but unfortunate then up round from the bottom of this pulley around to there and then it'll just come down until you're back so pull the the things uh the belt snugly and then where the end of this slot is here 
is going to be where you basically want to cut the belt because you then got to slide the other end in there. So I know it's got a nice bit of uh, tension on there at the moment. I'm just going to mark that. These are great paint pens because they write in rubber glass, all sorts of very handy things to get for the workshop. So then where I've taken my mark, I just need to cut out with the scissors. I have a little bit of leftover belt, not much use. Now pulling that taut again. And then just got to try and slot that down into there. Please forgive, I'm going to have to tilt this around to where I can see it a little bit better. Just going to have to trim one tiny segment off. What happened was it was just a little bit too long to get in there and fit in snug. So it's better to, if anything, cut that one a little long and then shorten it. There we go. Well, this has been a bit of a bigger bitch than I anticipated. Well, I just tried to force that. I should have just left it where it was, knowing that it was holding, rather than trying to get it all the way in. But I have broken that piece of acrylic off there so I should have just left it where it was and it was in it would have held just trying to make it all very super neat and tidy but I over pushed it and it's broken this is Wednesday night. The video is supposed to be out tomorrow and I was hoping to do the stage after this as well, uh, which was mounting the uh, bed. But at the moment now, I've got to this bit and I'm now going to have to figure out how to repair that. And um, come up with a bit of a fix and what have you. If I had more time, the fix would have been done and it would have been put into this video and would have all been part of the procedure. But I haven't got time to figure out a fix and get this video out for Thursday. I'm sorry I'm running really, really, really tight to the line with these videos at the moment. Just lots going on. Anyway, so I suppose this is now the end of the build video. Um... I was really hoping to, like I said, to get this part 12 and 13 amount of the bed done tonight. Um, I could mount all the bed and everything right now, but the problem then is whilst trying to repair this, I need to get that screw off and I'm going to have to do lots of things. I'm going to have to look at gluing. I'm going to have to look at uh, structurally reinforcing with maybe some bits of metal or something. Worst case scenario, I'll have to CAD this piece up and ask a friend of mine who has a laser cutter to cut me a fresh piece because uh, I don't really want to wait for one to come all the way from China. So, I'm showing you all my good and all my bad. Like I said, I was hoping this was going to go along a bit smoother and I just knew I should have stopped. So if ever you feel like you're doing this and you're thinking, oh, well, just push it a little bit harder, I'm sure it can take it. Don't. Don't do it. It's a clean break, hoping with a bit of glue and a few other bits and bobs I'll be able to get this done, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this footage, get it in, get it edited. It is now 8 o'clock on the Wednesday night, so by the time I get this stuff in there, edited up, and now it's not going to be ready for me to upload till probably one, one issue more in the morning. 
I didn't mind. I thought carrying on would have only taken a little bit longer to see. I've got all the bits here ready to do the bed piece, but that'll have to be uh, part of next week. So next week will be how did I fix that and installing that and then whatever else I can fit in. Uh, I'm busy this weekend, but I'm off all day Monday, so I'm hoping Monday I can pile into this. I was really hoping Monday I could pile into filming the very final part of the build. I was hoping to get these bits done, and then the last bit would be just all the wiring. Um, this is turning into a more of an excuse channel than a build channel and tech channel, really, hasn't it? It's just excuse after excuse. That's just how my luck's flying at the moment. Yay! Because I might as well tell you now, the reason why I didn't have the overhead cam doing the normal thing is my Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which I was using to film all of that above stuff, has now got stuck in a boot loop, and I am desperately trying to rescue all of my data off of it. Uh, there is a fix, but it does involve nuke wiping the entire um, phone. But I've got decades worth of numbers on there, lots of photos and videos. Unfortunately, I only just recently uh, put a new hard drive in my laptop and I hadn't backed the phone up yet recently. And I was going to do that the other night and then the USB wouldn't work and lots of other fun things that you don't want to know about right now. Anyway, I'm babbling on because I'm a little bit ticked off right now. Mainly with myself for being such an idiot. Oh, well, these things happen. I'm going to have to work my way around it. But I haven't got time for that tonight. So enjoy this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, uh, like, subscribe, do all of those lovely things as per usual to watch me struggle again next week. I know one of the guys in comments said, oh, my, my, uh, doing my voiceover thing, he kind of liked like to watch my struggle. You're going to enjoy this week's episode, mate. You're really going to enjoy this week's. Anyway. I'll catch you next week and hopefully this will go a bit smoother next week. Catch you later. Bye.